Hello everybody, this is a short tutorial on how to add buttons, navigation buttons or any kinds of buttons really to your Moodle page. Um, this is a little bit complex. Um, it uses HTML and CSS. So if you're not familiar with that, you may not want to do this. Um, but you know what, give it a shot. So I'm going to go to my Moodle sandbox and you will see up here uh, this um, label uh, containing buttons. So I have all these sections here, basics, gradebook, and so on. These are uh, the sections. And when I click here, I will go to those sections. And then I have uh, put uh, another link down here. It's called top. And when I click here, I'll go back to the top. I go here and I go back to the top. And so you can do that with um, pretty much almost anything in Moodle because when you uh, look here, when you hover the mouse over an item, you will see in the lower left corner in your browser that there is a URL for this, right? So each of these items, each quiz, each um, assignment uh, and so on has a URL, okay? So, so uh, let's have a look at the code, uh, how to do this. So I'm going to go on this, I'm going to go on edit settings, and then you see the buttons here and uh, a little weird anchor symbol up here. So I'm going to edit the HTML like so, and this is what it looks like. Um, so the first thing you will notice up here, I'm going to zoom in a little bit, is um, this. So it's an HTML tag. It's a tag for a link. However, this is not a real link. This is an anchor. So and this anchor is called top. So I'm putting an anchor here that I will link to uh, later in the course and in other sections to be able to get back up to the top. So that's why I call this one top. So the name is top. And then come the buttons. So let me zoom out a little bit again. So each button is styled in the same way. I did not want to use an external CSS file. So let me just uh, isolate one of those. So this is what each one of them looks like. So we have uh, an HTML button. Then I have added a whole bunch of styles. So I added a background color, green, uh, the font color, white, uh, padding, uh, to this, um, that the text should be centered inside uh, this element. Uh, text decoration none. Display is inline dash block to make uh, to make them well blocks. Um, then uh, the font size, which for some weird reason doesn't seem to work uh, properly in um, Moodle, but uh, I'll figure that out some other time. Um, and that there should be no border because by default buttons in uh, HTML have a border. And uh, while I was at it, I also created curved borders, um, eight pixel curved borders. Um, okay, this may not work on every type of browser, uh, but I added it anyway because it's a nice little touch to have these curved borders. Then. Um, I added this uh, on click. So this is the on click event uh, that um, will be called when uh, the button is clicked. Window.location.href. So go here in this window. So don't open a new window. So you could you could use um, another command too to open uh, whatever link you want in a new window as well. Um, and then this is my link. This is my um, course. And um, the course uh, has this ID number, and I want to go to section one. Okay, so that's uh, the link that's in here. And um, this is simply the text that pops up in the button, basics. So all of these buttons uh, are exactly the same. Um, I made them exactly the same. Only The only difference, as you can see, is here it is section one, here is section two. Here it's the grade book, uh, and then, uh, and so on and so on. So if I isolate that one too, you'll see this is section three, and then assignments, and so on and so on. So uh, 
like I said, like the style, um, I made that once and the rest is co it's just copy and paste. Okay. So these are my buttons. Let's zoom out again. And then um, let's cancel. Okay, so they're up here. You can use background images, you can do whatever. Um, and so let's go here. And then let's have a look at this link here. I could turn that into a button as well if I want to, but I've, I didn't have the time to do that now, but I could. So uh, what I did here is simply uh, this one here. Let's have a look. So um, this is uh, a line right because I wanted uh, the this link to pop up in the right corner uh, of this section. And then um, I simply, uh, let's zoom in. I simply did um, a link to hashtag top. So this is the label I created all the way on the top of the course where I had my buttons and I just wrote top. So, you know, I could write go to the top or something like that. So this means um, this link is going to go there. So, and then I created that only once because it's the same anchor every time and I just duplicated uh, this um, element, this label. So I just went here and went on duplicate and did that a couple times and then moved them here and here and here. So now I can go from anywhere to the top. Okay. Um, so again, I click here, back to the top. I click here, back to the top. So there are a lot of cool little things you can do with this. You can play around, you can enter some more JavaScript, you can maybe have pop-ups and different colors and, and so on and so on. If you know your way around JavaScript and if you know your way around HTML and uh, if you know your way around CSS. Um, so you can play around with it a little bit. Um, it could be, uh, of course, that Moodle might filter out some um, some tags uh, by default and it could also be that you're breaking the uh, entire layout if you forget to close a hashtag uh, if you forget to close um, a tag an HTML tag or so it could just basically destroy the page uh, so you don't want to go overboard with this and you want to be a little bit careful but uh, there you go Oh, uh, by the way, in case you're wondering where did I find those links to those sections, because when I have the mouse here, um, you will see that it uh, is not visible in the lower left corner. Uh, Chrome doesn't show me that. But I added um, a section um, block here on the right, and these are the sections. So when I have the mouse here, um, I can just do right click and then copy link address. And that is the correct link because these links actually work and they take me to the correct sections. So yeah, if you want to have some fun with um, Moodle and you want to add some cool buttons, that's the way to go. Okay, have a great day.